hello guys welcome back to my channel once again um today i'm going to do a tarot reading for actor uh, song kang um i was uh trying to recollect information from his spirit chart and i realized that there's not not any kind of information available about it so i was wondering uh, what's going on with Song Kang's um, fans? <laughs> no one does research on him. And I believe he's quite popular because I, I have um, watched a lot of um, uh, series and, and about him. And I, I really enjoy them. I enjoyed his, his acting. Um, I don't know much about him. I don't know if he is also part of a group, if he is a singer which um, I, I believe he's not because I think I have seen his acting more frequently and probably I have seen him in some kind of variety show but uh, I think I, I never saw him sing or something like that which he could be amazing if he, if he tried um, but I think he's more of an actor <clears throat> If someone has like an additional um, um, information, please, uh, I would appreciate your feedback. <coughs> so I had to do his spirit chart manually. <laughs> I had to do it uh, myself. And <coughs> anyways, I always do it whenever I, I, I feel a bit um, uh, confused or there's something that I, I want to check if it's true or not. Um, so, and I was seeing that he is a Taurus sun with uh, a moon in Virgo. So, um, <coughs> which makes sense um, because um, when I was pulling the archetype cards, I was like, wow, like <laughs> it's, it's amazing. It's very different from a Taurus energy that I was getting from him. I, I believe he is one of these actors that I confuse with other actors that they don't look the same but I confuse them at first I confuse them that I think that it's the actor that it's uh, Jungkook's friend um, um, the one that started Hotel de Luna um, I, 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 at the beginning I confused him with Song Kang but then I realized that Song Kan has this um, very distinctive, um, it's not that the other actor is not handsome, it's just that Song Kan has, it's, it's way more handsome, but that's why sometimes I think that it, it's hard for me to think of him just as an actor. I think that he's too pretty. So sometimes I think like, oh, he must be an idol too. But now I, th I think he's not an idol. I think he's only an actor. So let's go with the archetypes. Um, first, I wanted to give a, a small review about what it's like to be a Taurus a sun with the moon in Virgo. You know, I always talk <clears throat> here in my channel that moon in Virgo, they tend to have a lot of, um, of problems insecurities about how to express themselves especially their feelings um moon in virgo actually any energy that is placed any planet that is placed in virgo has some kind of challenges for that person because virgo is so um is so into organizing things and it's is very analytic it's very into overthinking so much and uh, finding solutions that they don't connect really with what's going on inside of them so when you think about the moon that the moon is a personal planet that talks about your inner emotions um how you behave in intimacy, in intimacy your relationship with your mother i think that being a moon in virgo it's a bit of um, actually not having a lot of uh, experience when it comes to expressing your true emotions because there's something about you that is like no you have to you have to do better you have to improve yourself you have to be a better version of yourself so it's like they're always busy 
um, with um, with working with um, whether it is working on themselves or working for someone else, they are always thinking that there's something next that needs some improvement. And, and this also affects their view of, of, of how, who, who they are, you know, and, and I think sometimes they need to stop a bit and appreciate everything that they had, that they had gained. And enjoy it, and and just be proud, and and start stop a bit with being too rigid or maybe being too hard on themselves. They are too harsh on themselves. They are pretty critical. Um, people think that Virgo energy they tend to be critical with others, but yes, they tend to be. But at the same time, they are very critical with themselves. So it's like it's a it's a it's, it's a way of behavior, it's a pattern of behavior that it translates from how they feel about them and how they feel about the others. <clears throat> and I think that him being a Taurus, because Taurus is, is also an earth sign, but it's very different from Virgo, because Taurus is more about let's take our time to build things, you know, let's take our time to gather things, let's enjoy the moment. Let's, let's enjoy let's enjoy the present let's enjoy uh, that we are here that we are alive that we are breathing that we are that we are uh, blessed with uh, having um, uh, a, I don't know a, a good meal of having uh, people that love us or having uh, of being able to I don't know live in a very I don't know you can be living in, in a humble place but it can be your your sense of home and where you belong. So you, so I think that a uh, Taurus it's a very valuable. Um, it's a very. Um, it's a very beautiful energy. Uh, a lot of people associate a lot of times Taurus energy with with luxury and and with having expensive stuff and being surrounded by material things. And even though Taurus it's it's uh, concern about material wellness. <clears throat> what's um what they value the most is to have the ability to enjoy things and they have a pretty good radar uh, about um how much they are enjoying what they have um they are they are not just like compulsive buyers they they buy things that have some kind of meaning to them that could add potentially also meaning to them um, this is why they don't spend very often but when they do they probably buy the most expensive thing but it's because they 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 finally made their mind about how they want to uh, use their money they are very wise in that sense <clears throat> and so i think that him being uh a, a sun in Taurus and, and a moon in Virgo, it must be really challenging in the sense that probably he would wish he could relax a bit more and that he could uh, enjoy himself a bit, a bit more, but actually his moon in, in, in Virgo can actually make him um, feel a bit anxious about the future and feel a bit anxious when he has nothing to do so probably for him to relax it's almost impossible he could be also a workaholic um, and I think that um, because you know that uh, Taurus is ruled by Venus so obviously he's a very handsome man He's very, um, he's very elegant. He's, he's, uh, there's something about the way he behaves that it's very, um, it's very beautiful. It's elegant. Um, so I think that a lot of people must look at him with, at all, you know, and be like, oh, he's so handsome and he looks so calm, you know, because Taurus nature, it's so slow sometimes. It seems like, like whenever you're watching them, like, they take their time to do every step of, of whatever they're doing and they are very present and they seem to to be really comfortable with themselves you know and just like go with the flow but at the same time i think that with him being a moon in virgo probably inside 
he's like battling with a lot of thoughts and a lot of ideas and a lot of things that he wants to do next so probably he has like these two facets these two sides of himself you know one with, where he looks really calm he looks like he's um he's enjoying himself or he looks like he he is at peace with himself and actually inside he's like um he's like overthinking too much you know analyzing too much like his his brain must be really working really fast <clears throat> so let's go with the archetypes he got the monk the networker and the priest so this is where um, because when I did the spread, I didn't look for his spirit chart because somehow I knew he was a Taurus. So I was like, okay, I, I did the spread. <clears throat> and then when I, 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 I searched for the information and I did his spirit chart <clears throat> and I saw his moon in Virgo, I was like, oh, now it makes sense. <clears throat> because even though Virgo is not related to celebrate it, it being a monk or being a, a virgin an archetype of a virgin or a priest it doesn't mean that necessarily you are one it means that when it comes to your personality traits there are some things about yourself that you are um, protecting especially for you can have like very strong values uh, and you can uh, have uh, a kind of be a more resolved person and actually um, for example, in his case, he is an actor, so he does play roles that probably are a bit more edgier or are uh, roles that are very opposite so from what he, who he really is as a person. So probably uh, this is what I was seeing. I was here with this monk and this priest here, this archetype, and I was like, oh, so he's really different from what he portrays on his on the characters that he plays. Um, I think that it's very remarkable that here I'm seeing a very <clears throat> reserved kind of person, someone that likes to be on their own, someone that probably doesn't, uh, it's not like uh, someone that enjoys uh, for example, go clubbing or, or participating on a lot of social gathering or probably because he's really young. So he could um, like, you know, to go out, enjoy himself, have fun, uh, socialize. And I, I see with this energy that actually he's a bit reserved that probably he's, I don't know if this is true or not, but probably his uh, personal life, it's a mystery because um like i see him like being really resolved and i was wondering if he is um if he's like a religious or if he has some kind of religious background or if he is like in, in part of a religion or uh, doctrine that that actually is like it it prevents him from actually doing what people of his age do i don't know why i'm saying this but i have the feeling that that yes that he, it's not that he's shy for example because you can you can have the archetype of the monk and be, being someone really shy or being someone like um really resort or that has trouble communicating with others but i think that in his case i think that his whole spirit and his whole soul is like he's an old soul and at the same time he carries like a lot of wisdom from previous lives and and now with the priest it's like there's something about religion or there's something about traditions that he follows that he uh, that he really takes this with this um, this knowledge as his own so there's a, some kind of religious practice or maybe like some kind of uh, a very strong belief he has a very sense a strong sense of belief this is why i think that he, maybe he was uh taught to be this way that he he learned it for someone else um, maybe he was brought up like that uh, and actually i don't know why but here with the 
with the archetype of the priest, I have the feeling that there's um, that there's a possibility that he would like to be a priest or some kind of priest in the future, especially when he grows older or when he retires. Because I think I think he could be a bit of a celibate a bit um, because I see him like being really like selective with his uh with his connections with who he hangs out with um but here in the middle we have the networker so definitely he's very sociable but i think that he selects who he is uh sociable with this is why i think that he belongs to some kind of group or some kind of society where he has friends and he has acquaintances but i think that this this society that he belongs to is not the the typical you know for example he is an actor or at least we know him for being an actor so he would we would be like oh okay so maybe he hangs out with other actors or people from the industry and actually no i see him like here with the with the monk and the priest i see him like he he his his close circle of friends and the people that he he cares about are people that has to do with this very strong system of belief that he has so i don't know what is it about but i think that he is there's something about him that he is very very like um he's very organized with how he feels and what he does i think that he's also very professional in the sense that you cannot tell that he, he has these beliefs um um because it's like he's very quiet about it but at the same time i think that there are people that know um but yes he just wants to be left alone actually when it comes to i mean in the sense that he wants to do his job as an art, as an artist or as an actor, and he would he just wants to give it give it his all and do his part and play his role, but then he he wants to go back to his real life, and actually just close close the doors, you know, to, and and have intimacy. I think that for him it's really important to have uh, some kind of um, distance or some kind of like uh, to have a, a very prominent separation between who he is uh, ha as, as an artist and who he is as a person um so I'm, I'm really amazed i'm really amazed but it makes sense for him being a moon in virgo it makes sense that there's a bit of um, that he has like I wouldn't say that it's weird beliefs it's not weird it's just that sometimes it can be a bit old-fashioned compared to what people believe in nowadays or it can be a bit restrictive in the sense because we see the monk here so it can be like a kind of beliefs that actually um, separates him from the rest of the society so it's it's a bit odd uh, that a very young man especially someone that is very successful as he is that he actually participates in this kind of very like <clears throat> almost secretive kind of uh, religion or or kind of doctrine i don't know um i wouldn't say religion because it feels more like an everyday practice it's like more like a lifestyle not so much a religious Oh, like you go to church or something like that. So let's go with the cards that came out for him. The tarot cards. He had the world, the judgment, the nine of pentacles, the star, um, the hangman, the chariot, the lovers, the queen of uh, swords, um, the, um, the hierophant and the wheel of fortune. And another thing that I was really amazed is how many major arcanas came out for this young man. In the sense that um, I don't see minor arcanas, I only see one. Which, um, I don't know if you know much about tarot, but 
the major arcanas are like these cards that actually have like a deeper meaning than the minor arcanas. Uh, the minor actually are the ones that represent the ones, the swords, the cups, and the pentacles. But here with the major arcanas, it means that there's uh, like a higher message here. Um, actually, I think that they don't want to tell me a story about how he's doing or what he's doing. Actually, they want to tell me about his emotional or his spiritual development. So probably he is very spiritual. There's something about him that he is very spiritual because I can see it here. Um, so with the first row, that is the world, the the judgment, the ah, and the nine of of pentacles also came out. That is a minor arcana, and the star. It means that definitely he is closing a circle in his life, and he is like. He's finally receiving recognition for from his hard work. He's finally feeling really comfortable with the the parts that he's he's playing. He's also someone that is interested into being a good actor, not just a pretty face. I think that he had worked really hard to actually be able to to receive um uh, projects that really reflects what he wants to show or what size of himself he wants to to show i think that um he is very um he's very mature for his age there's something about him that he's at, at the same time i think he's innocent there's a bit of innocence in him but at the same time he's very mature when it comes to his goals and what he wants to do and i think that he wanted to be taken seriously when it came to what he the roles he played but he he went through a lot because he knew he had to take whatever came his way you know take the opportunity as it went you know and i think that now he's he's going through a period where he is finally participating in projects that that has a lot to do with who he is or probably a side of himself that he wants to show so he's feeling really blessed in that sense and then we have uh, the hangman the chariot and the lovers so if we think about our relationships or if we think about uh, how he's dealing with relationships i think that there's something about him that actually he's always feeling confused when it comes to relationships because even though he has a lot of offers and he meets a lot of beautiful people um sometimes he just doesn't know um he just doesn't know what he wants from from a relationship from love i think that he definitely wants to move forward and he wants to find someone that he likes um but I think that there's something about this environment that he is involved in, especially I think that in the music industry or the or the the actors scene. Um, I don't know why I said music industry. I think that uh, some of the because I don't see him actually like um, like approaching females. I actually see more like females approaching him or inviting him or like trying to connect to him. Uh, and I said music because I think that the, these, these females that have interest in him are idols. That they are not like uh, female like, uh, like actresses. Um, I think that he has like a, a lot of, a, a lot of uh, suitors in that sense. Uh, and, and he feels flattered, but at the same time, he doesn't know what to do because actually he feels like he doesn't belong to that world. He he just wants a simple, a, a simple life. He's a very simple person. Um, so for him, it's like he feels really good about himself that he he has all these admirers. But at the same time, he's like, um, this is not who I really am. So whenever he has to choose, he's like, mm, I don't know, I don't feel comfortable. So he's always in, in this uh, in this state of feeling confused, of being in confusion. Um, and here with the with the Queen of, of Swords and and um, 
and and the and the Harry of Ant, um, I think that uh, he definitely wants to have married. I know it's 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 weird, but he if we talk about I, I think he hasn't he haven't he hasn't met the one yet. But I think that in his mind he's very serious about commitment and he's very serious about getting married. So uh, he does have a type. He does have like uh, a kind of person that he could potentially like. Um, but I don't see it like that person actually being part of his life right now. I see him more like um, him like visualizing that person. Probably he also has like um, like a type, like visually and on also like a bit of based on this person's traits, but not how he this really person is, how he per, this person is, but more as this how the character that this person plays is what he finds a bit like interesting. Um, I don't know why here with this Queen of Swords, I see, I see Jenny, Jenny from Blackpink, <laughs> but I'm not saying he's dating Jenny. I'm saying that he has an ideal type that is more, it's very similar to the character that Jenny plays uh, in Blackpink, for example, in the MBs. You know, when we see Jenny rapping or when we see Jenny in the MB, you know that the whole atmosphere is almost like this, very like, I wouldn't say badass, but he, she is someone that is in power, someone that is really good with words, someone that knows her words. And she's always like dressing in this very luxurious and very, I see a lot of red. Uh, so probably if, probably he's a fan of Jenny uh, and, and he likes, uh, the way she behaves on stage or the way she appears on the MBs. And she he has this kind of uh, um, beauty st standard. In, in the sense that, for example, if you would ask me, oh, who is your celebrity crush? Even though this doesn't mean that he has feelings for Jenny, don't get me wrong. But it's like the image of her, like the image of her in the MB, I would, he would be like, oh, Jenny, from Blackpink, but he wouldn't say it, of course, because um, he knows what this means. He knows that people start shipping and it's not healthy and he's not that kind of person. Um, because actually I see him like taking this very seriously, like his opinions really seriously, like he doesn't want to be uh, involved in any kind of gossiping or in any kind of scandals or in any kind of or problems. He doesn't like problems. He doesn't like confrontation, confrontation, actually. He just wants to be left alone to do his job. He's very professional, guys. So this is what, if I give, if I gave this example, it's because it's like, I can see like, like, um, like pictures of Jenny in, in, in my head. So, and, and I think that it's his ideal type, but it's not the one he's going to end up with. Um, but I see him like him being like, oh, yes, I would like this kind of person, this very hardworking person, someone that has some kind of magnetism, but at the same time, someone that it's very uh, traditional, someone that has like a strong value. So this is why I think that if he belongs to some kind of society or community where they are religious or where they have like this very strict kind of... Um, um like a, a kind of views about how to behave or or how to live life um he would actually he 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 would and he would also want someone that is very spiritual or someone that is very uh also very um like in touch with um with uh, their own willpower because um, I see he wants a partner, someone that they, he can build like an stability with, um, but I don't see feelings. So I, I think that he will, uh, for him actually marriage is necessary, but I see it more like um, a kind of com commitment, you know, like a kind of, 
I wouldn't say transaction because transaction is about money, but it's like a business deal. You know, like, oh, you're here to make my life better and I'm here to make yours better. So let's sign something like that. <laughs> because I don't see feelings, actually. I think he struggles with feelings. I think he struggles with... It's not that he doesn't feel. I think that the closer, the closest he is to actually experiencing emotions is when he's playing a part. So I think that acting for him is like this activity where he can actually connect with his inner self and, and through that character that he's playing or that emotion he can actually get closer, get a glimpse of what it feels to be emotional because actually he's not. He's someone that is always in control. He's always like in this very like steady kind of uh, level of emotion so he's not he, his head, yes, his mind runs really fast. But when it comes to his heart, I don't see him like being like um, experiencing this kind of rush, you know, this kind of passion of being like, whoa, I'm starting to feel this for someone. So I think that he's, this is why he's really good at acting. Um, because actually, for example, if he has to do love scenes or if he has to do like some kind of skinship with someone, you, he can do it and he, he's not like he starts to feel something from that person. So, and the last card that came out for him is the Wheel of Fortune. So there are a lot of movements when it comes to a relationship. So probably he could be like um, going, in, starting, it's like he could enter in a new cycle in his life in these next months where probably his projects will will put him closer or or make him feel closer to finding the uh his future wife because i believe that he's he's um he's like looking for mrs Wright. he's looking for his future um possible uh, future wife but i don't see it like romantic actually this is why I think that uh, he wants an stable relationship, but more like, oh yes, I have to get married because I, it's like he's like, oh, it's I'm um, I'm getting older, so I need to have like an stable relationship. But he, I don't see like like romance. I don't see it. Probably then we will eventually we will do an update on him and to see if probably if he meets this person that he idolizes this person of his dreams that if he will feel something for that person because I see him like being like like too like organized you know this is very Virgo this is very Virgo his moon in Virgo takes over his whole personality and he needs to connect more with uh, with 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 sensual with with sensuality with passion with feelings I see a bit like of very cold kind of um, vibe and so yes this is all i have for him and for the person that asked me to do a reading for him and i believe it's other actress i'm i don't do those kinds of reading people that are in my channel know that i do not do shipping readings i do readings about friendships or about people that work together um or people that had had their relationship confirmed or that probably there there's evidence that they had something or that they are involved um i don't do shipping readings or for uh, just for people that think that oh because they share they breathe the same air it's um they they have something because sometimes uh it can happen that an actress and an actor can develop feelings for each other but the majority of time it doesn't and the majority of time is that they are such a good professionals and actors that you actually end up believing that they are um that they are their characters and that they are living a, a love story um outside of the set so um you have to take those into consideration. I don't do, I do not do shipping readings and people know it. So I, 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 I want to be respectful to, not only to the people involved, but also to the tarot, because I do not display tarot 
for for to be playing uh, or to be uh, just like to have fun i mean in tarot it's a, it's a very it has a lot of energies and i have to deal with a lot of energy so i don't want to um i want to ask the tarot uh an interpretation that can actually get us closer to to that person and actually see what they're going through uh but you know that I, everything that i see and everything that i i interpret it's as much as um i'm allowed to interpret it you know if i don't say in a specific thing in the tarot reading it's because i'm not allowed to i i don't have the permission to see certain things about that life sometimes i i it it amazes me how people don't listen sometimes to my readings and they ask me over and over for like questions that i actually answered in the in the in the readings that i do for for some idols or some celebrities uh in my readings i know i talk a lot i know i say a lot of things but if you pay attention sometimes i say things that are actually like what you want to know and you are not paying attention because you want like for example you want like an specific specified reading about this sub this subject and this is not how it works because if i do a reading a general reading for someone uh, what i'm getting from that general reading is what you need to know there's no need to dig in deeper because um we are not we don't have the permission to do that deeper level uh except that for example if it something happens that i have done readings update readings for 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 some idols that had gone through um major transformations or something happened so so the fans wants to know how they are doing in the in those cases in those specific cases i do an update reading but we need to let energies flow and i always say if you if I, i'm not doing yet an energy reading about your idol or your favorite group just go back to the readings that i did a month ago two weeks ago and you and just pay attention and in there you will hear the interpretation of course the interpretation is mine you can disagree and you have different points of view and i and i respect that but i think that people need to If you're interested in tarot and if you're interested um just pay attention to to what I say because I know I say a lot of things but these are important messages. So this is all I have for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.